Welcome back. Many of you are probably watching us tonight in high definition. And now doctors are using the same technology to screen for colon cancer. Diana Gonzalez is live in the newsroom tonight with this story, Diana. High definition colonoscopy is just like high def TV. The details are clearer, the colors are brighter, and that can make a difference for doctors looking for subtle changes. As you can see a difference uh, at home when you're watching the big game on television, you could see the blades of grass and you could see more definition. The same holds true when we're here in the endoscopy suite. From the tiny camera at the tip of the scope to the monitor displaying the vivid images, colonoscopies at Memorial Regional West have gone HD. Within a year, this high-def screening test will be available throughout the memorial system. And as you could tell, the patient's experiencing no pain or discomfort during the procedure. Gastroenterologist Dr. Leon Marachi says HD makes his job easier, resulting in benefits to the patient. In my experience, doing colonoscopy in HD allows me to find the polyps and premalignant conditions earlier because of the images are so crisp and sharp that finding them is a lot easier. Nurse Sharon Ramirez was recently a patient who underwent a procedure in HD. We're really fortunate to live in the times that we live in with such advanced technology where doctors have the opportunity to detect any kind of disease process in earlier stages. A virtual colonoscopy like this one is what President Obama recently had. It still involves taking laxatives to empty the colon, but no sedation and no scope. It's a CT scan. Special computer software turns the flat images into 3D video. But if something is detected... With a virtual colonoscopy, we're unable to obtain any tissue for diagnosis or remove any polyps. Now, President Obama is 48. It's recommended colonoscopy screening should generally start at age 50 or age 45 if you're African American. Getting a colonoscopy can reduce the average person's risk of dying from colorectal cancer by 90%. Jackie? That's unbelievable, Diana. Thank you.